Well, it's typical that a, a judge will get uh, one person not complying, but how many trials have we had this month? I mean, this is the third time that I've been in this keen courthouse in the last 30 days. So, And I've got a my own trial coming up soon. Not a trial, it's a hearing. For a CCW appeal. That means I ask the Keene police, please, Massa, may I have a concealed carry license? May I have your permission to put a gun in my pocket? Of course, I don't need their permission to wear a gun on my hip. That's perfectly legal in New Hampshire. Loaded or unloaded. But if I want to put a loaded gun from my hip into my pocket or perhaps step into a car, then I need the government's permission. They told me no. Well, now I have to appeal. That appeal is going to be happening within the next two weeks. And if you want to support the next victory against the Keen Police, do it today. Donate at GoFundMe.com slash gun rights. GoFundMe.com slash gun rights. We'll be back with more Peace News Now when we return. Stories of peaceful resistance and your calls at Peace News Now. Welcome back. It's Peace News Now. We're talking about stories of peaceful resistance. Hey, I'm involved in one. I asked the local police in my town, Keene, New Hampshire, for permission to put a gun in my pocket. They said no. New Hampshire is a shall-issue state, which means that it's one of those places where if you fill out an application for a concealed carry license and you pay the 10 bucks, the police or government shall issue you a concealed carry license. There should be no questions. If you're not a felon, you don't beat your wife, that's it. You get a gun. And there are other states called may issue, um, you know, where there are a few more requirements that need to be met, but essentially New Hampshire is a place where anyone can get a gun. Not me. Why is that? According to the Keene Police, I am an assaultive or threatening person. Uh, or, no, not person, uh, that I've I'm a person who's engaged in threatening or assaultive behavior. Um, now, I contest this. I urge them to find some video. I mean, I take video of myself every day, and I post it to the Internet. So surely, out of the terabytes of footage that exists with me on the Internet, they can find one instance of me being assaultive or threatening. I don't think they can do it. So I'm taking them to court. I've appealed their decision to the court. I've hired a lawyer, attorney Evan Knappen, who's a rock star when it comes to these types of issues. You can look him up, Evan Knappen. Just Google him. He's amazing. And uh, he's defended people like me all across the country successfully. So I've really hired the right guy. We're just going to nip this in the bud. And I think it's important to take this issue to court. You know, of course, I could just conceal carry anyway, right? There's no reason that I need to ask permission from the local government to exercise a natural right. Uh, of course I have the inherent right of self-defense. As a porcupine, of course I do. Porcupine being, of course, the term that uh, some movers call themselves of the Free State Project uh, because the porcupine embodies sort of my ideology that I just want to live my life and be left alone. But it's probably not worth attacking me. So you can support my fundraiser. I've already hired the attorney at my own expense. So this is going to happen within the next two weeks, whether you support it or not. The reason I'm asking your support is because this issue affects everyone who hopes to ever live in New Hampshire. You know, this issue, if it's going to be a shall-issue state, that can't mean that the local police can just deny you if they don't like you, right? It, it means that it shall issue. There's no, oh, we think Derek's a punk, so we're going to keep him from having all of his rights. No way. No way, man. If this precedent can stand, then we're in real trouble because uh, New Hampshire doesn't become a shall issue state. It becomes a will issue if you're not an activist state. Oh, weren't you at one of those DUI checkpoints holding a turn here sign? Yeah, you know, now you're not allowed to have a concealed carry license. Sorry. We think you're an assaultive or a threatening person because you have helped people evade the police. 
It could be anything, any stretch of the imagination. If you let the local police have authority over whether or not you can defend yourself, I ask you, is that not slavery? Let's continue with the stories of peace for assistance. Wrap that up. It's at GoFundMe.com slash gun rights. Of course, we accept Bitcoin. Uh, you can find the Bitcoin link on the video that has just been posted to the webpage yesterday. So go check it out. Uh, dollars, Bitcoin, it's all great. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. And you can be partly responsible for the next victory against the keen police. Do it today.